Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. I'm going to show you guys who are brand new to EVE Online a quick way on how to earn a bit of ISK when you start out. This is by doing T0 Abyssal Dead Space sites and you can pretty much do this straight away. You barely need any ISK, barely need any skill points at all. In fact, if you do what I do now, you'll have the like skills required to do what I'm doing by the end of the in-game tutorial and career agent. So this is really a nice way to earn ISK just straight off the bat. So we're going to be logging in then with my character right here I just made. We're going to skip the tutorial and show you how easy this is. Okay, so we got this tutorial here. I'm going to just skip this. And I'm using an Amar character. It's a lot easier if you use an Amar character because they already by default have a few skills that will be needed for this. So you'll save a couple of hours of training time by going with an Amar character. So what we want to do here is open the map and type Amar with two R's here. Set destination to Amar. See only two jumps away. You can click on the yellow stargates like this. Jump just to follow the waypoint destination. Okay, now that we're here in Amar, we go to this Amar trade post right here. You can see here, dock here, or Amar V I I I, or Amar Eight, and this one here, Amar trade post. You can just warp to it and dock. Okay, we dock up here in this trade post. All right, so. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing Abyssal Dead Space. Abyssal Dead Space is an activity where you use a key called a filament and you activate it and you travel to a special unknown region of space. You fight bad guys, you destroy the bad guys, you loot the chest or you loot these special caches after you destroyed everyone and you take this loot and you sell it on the market and then that's how you get your isk. It is very important when we're doing this that we only use tranquil electrical filament. Do not use tranquil dark, do not use tranquil exotic, do not use calm calm electric do not use this these this is a different type of one only use tranquil electric because that's what the fit i'm going to show you guys is exactly made for the ship that we're going to be use it is only made for tranquil electrical very important okay so what are we going to use here we're going to use a punisher this is a very good ship for doing these t0 abyssal dead space sites and the reason why i'm showing you guys this is because i have previously made videos on the punisher for doing these t0 abyss sites the tranquil abyss sites like we're going to be doing now but this one is very special because it requires pretty much no skills in fact the skills you train during the tutorial will already be done by the time you finish the tutorial so you'll be able to just get into this straight away so that's why I think that this is a really good ship to use and it is also very cheap as well. Only 3 million isk it costs. It will cost a bit more in Amar because people like to rip you off in Amar, unfortunately. So it will cost about 3.8, 3.5, something like that. Okay, so how do you then get this fit then? Go into the description of one of my videos. You'll see uh, like a text box saying fit used. You just copy paste the text box fully like to the very below until you don't see anything more until it says like maybe these hashtags over here. You copy paste this then. And then when you've copy pasted it, you'll see something like this. So you click here on the fittings tab, which you see over here, import, and then save. And then when you save here, you'll then have to make sure this is unticked. Untick this community fittings thing, because then you'll see it here. Extreme budget T0 Punisher or PU, because it doesn't have the fitting to be able to put, display the whole name. But either way. So first off, we need to get the good skills. Very basic skills. You can start training these during your career agents that when you are finished with the career agents, you'll be able to get into this straight away. So we can see here, we only need repair systems one. So you can just click here, buy and train. Buy and train. There we go. All right. We'll go on the skill catalog over here. Click floating. You see, we've got repair systems one. There's some more skills you'll want to train, but they take very little time. Repair systems. Turn this to level 2. Then do a Ma Frigate. Train this to level 2. These are all the skills you need. This is all you need. These are nothing more than this you need. I am going to be using this referral link because in the description of my videos, you can see that there's a referral link that will give you 1 million skill points when you make a new character. This is equivalent to about 40 days worth of training, so it's very good to use this. You'll be like about 40 days ahead of other people who don't use this. I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, just use this just to show you guys that we can just train the skills instantly. So I'm going to redeem this, apply these skills, and now I've trained these instantly. But as I said before, by the time you finish finished the career agents, you would have trained all those skills right there. So you'll pretty much be able to do this straight away. So we've trained all those skills. We've got the Punisher fit right here. What we want to do is right click, 
buy all and buy. Now I've got a little bit of isk on my character right here because for just demonstration purposes, I wanted to show you guys how to use this, but you can always just sell stuff you got from the career agents. You get some nice isk from there. Another way to earn some basic isk before you do this is also to do this project discovery mini game right here. It's a very basic puzzle. So you can use that to, uh, as well, get some isk to be able to use this fit as well. All right, so we bought everything as we saw before. Now what we want to do is go on the tab, click multi fit by right clicking this fit ship right there and then we go on our item hanger ship hanger then we go on our inventory ship hanger and we see our extreme budget t0 punisher all right so we've got the fit here now what we want to do here is buy these filaments we need to buy three of them that's just how it works each time we go and do an abyssal dead space site we need three so we're going to buy one here so by price it's best that you have like the cheapest one so we buy one here Buy one here and buy one here. So we've got three of these. All right. So we've got three Tranquil Electrical. Again, very important. Tranquil Electrical is the only one you're going to have. Nothing else. All right. Now we undock. Make sure you put the filaments in your cargo hold. That's important. Okay. So what you do now is just click on your ship, right click, pilot, and then form fleet with. You're going to form a fleet with yourself. You also have to do this to be able to go in these Abyssal Dead Space sites. Now what we can do here is look for something on the overview because we need to warp to something because the way it works is the abyssal dead space you can't do it when you're close to other structures. So you can see here we couldn't do abyssal dead space now because we we're very close to this station. So what we're going to do is we're going to warp to some object. So we'll perhaps warp to this Emperor Catis on a guard for example. Warp within 100. Now what we do here is go on our menu up here, click on personal, click on people and places and now we can see our like bookmarks tab locations you can see here. While we are in warp, click add location and just type safe. It doesn't matter, you can give it any name, but I just like to type safe. So we've got this location now in the middle of like the solar system that's not close to anything. That's where we're going to run our abyssal dead space sites because we can't be close to any kind of structures or any kind of space stations to be able to run abyssal dead space sites. It won't work otherwise. All right, so let's warp to our safe right here. We've got the three filaments on our cargo. Let's get to work. All right, so now we've warped to this safe, the bookmark we made in space so that we're not next to any like kind of celestials or space stations. And now we can use our abyssal dead space keys or filaments and enter abyssal dead space. So we'll right click on them, use tranquil, and then we'll use the three frigates. Um, we're not three frigates, we're just one frigate, but theoretically we could have two friends with us in frigates and they could come and help us. So we activate for fleet. There we go. We see this, if you look here on the center of your ship, you'll see Abyssal Trace. Left click on this, right click, and do Add Abyssal Trace to Overview, just, just so you can see it for future reference. Hold down left click on this Abyssal Trace, Enter Filament, and Activate. Now we're going to go into this dungeon, or this Abyssal Dead Space site. If we spend more than 20 minutes in this Abyssal Dead Space site, we will die. So we've got a 20 minute uh, cap on us, so you can't just like go make some uh, dinner or something and expect to come back and it'll be fine. You have a time up here, it says 20 minutes, after 20 minutes you will die. So you have to complete this within 20 minutes, otherwise your ship will self-destruct. So we've got two armor repairs right here. Just click on these, activate modules. And now we see the bio cache. cash. We just approach this. This is where the loot is located. And you see there's an enemy over here called Striking Damovic. So the ammunition type, you want to use depends a little bit on range we've got three ammunition types gamma multi-frequency and ultraviolet as i've got loaded right now um, multi-frequency is the most close range ammo gamma is the intermediate range ammo and ultraviolet is the long range ammo the shorter the range is so multi-frequency this one right here is the shortest range the higher the dps will be and the longer the range the lower the dps will be so it depends a little bit on which kind of target you find that you will use the ammunition type now, if we op approach this bio uh, commutative cache, we just hold down left click and open cargo and loot all. You can just start shooting this guy directly so you didn't have to wait like I did right here. You can use ultraviolet on this guy because this guy likes to keep range. You'll notice right here. So if we approach this guy, just approach him directly, you'll see he likes to keep range from us because he's quite a quick little ship right here. So he'll be never really coming exactly point blank to us. Now he did a bit of it because he crashed into this asteroid over here. But we'll just approach him like we're doing right now. 
and you can see here we've got an optimal of six kilometers fall off of 8.6 so this is a nice range for him in fact we could maybe even go to gamma because he is getting a little bit close to us so we could do something like this it'll do a little bit more damage but it will also maybe do a little bit less damage when he gets out of range because you do significantly less damage when an npc or just target gets out of the fall off range or more towards fall off range but if something is out of fall off then it's going to be very little damage you're going to do so we can just approach this guy like we're doing right now shoot away he is he does have a bit of tank like it takes a bit of time to destroy him but it's no not too much worries not too much worries we can just keep using our armor repairs and mwd like this is all right you see that our capacitor is getting a little bit low you can see here and you might want to just pulse an armor repair if you have like problems with your capacitor just stop using one of the armor repairs like this because uh, depending on the ammunition type it also uses more capacitor for example the short range high dps ammunition like multi-frequency uh, uses more capacitor than ultraviolet so as you see here if we use multi-frequency we have less capacitor right here we have it runs out in two minutes if we use ultraviolet we are cap stable so we can use everything and that means we can use both armor repairs uh, because our guns they use a lot of power as well when we shoot them so just keep that in mind as well you don't want to let your capacitor get too low it'll make a sound like we heard just now like dur -dur -dur, a kind of sound when it gets too low and if that's the case you want to do something maybe deactivate or one armor repair or switch to a low uh, capacitor consuming ammunition type or just simply stop shooting for a bit um, usually what you can do is just keep one armor repair active or if you are then using like here probably we will be using uh, ultraviolet since these guys are very speedy little npcs over here we'll probably be using ultraviolet so we can just keep both armor repairs on right here the point is is just make sure you don't run out of this capacitor right here capacitor is like your energy or your electricity of your ship so just don't want to make most want to make sure it doesn't run out just is if it does run out then your stuff is going to start turning off because you don't have the amount of capacity to keep using them so i mean what we could do here is if we want to save capacity just turn off this armor repair right here this guy i realize is in quite close range so we can use a gamma right here uh, approach him and you can see we're taking a little bit of damage so it might be good to use the second armor repair and we do obviously have a bit of time like a bit of margin of safety so it doesn't mean that as soon as we use the short range or medium range ammo and the small armor repairs right here will run out of capacitor straight away it will it'll take a bit of time as you saw before it took it said they're like two minutes or something until it runs out in the case of it's a gamma ammunition of five minutes so we just approach these guys and we try to do as much damage as we can as quickly as we can we tank quite a lot the punisher is quite a beastly ship but this is a pretty good activity to do. You earn about 15 to 20 million isk now. So it's pretty good activity to earn some bigger six starter isk. From one or two of these sites we're doing, we'll pretty much earn back the whole ship. So it's really great. So we'll just get our whole ship back. So if you were to somehow make a mistake and you were to lose your ship, it doesn't matter because you can just buy it again because you earn it back so quickly. Uh, one thing to also keep in mind, we're using an MWD. So we're quite fast. This means that if we are not careful, we could perhaps go out of the boundary box. And now there is in Abyssal Dead Space a invisible boundary box. You can't see it, but there is an abyssal like boundary box like somewhere in the peripheral. And if we go outside of it, we will eventually die. So just make sure you don't drift off into space. Be very careful that you don't drift off into space because we're very quick with this MWD on. Two kilometers a second is a pretty significant speed if we compare it to bigger, slower ships. So we will, if we are not careful, just drift out of space and die. Now, you might learn this the hard way, but again, it doesn't really matter. This is a very cheap ship. If you do die, it's not the whole world. You earn the ship back very quickly. So you'll get maybe it could even be a good lesson for you to just know where the boundary box is. So that in the future, if you're doing a higher tiered Abyssal Dead Space site, you don't lose your more expensive ship to that. So we can approach this guy adaptive cache, grab the loot here see what is in here you can sometimes get good loot here there's lucky drops like once i got a lucky drop that was worth like seven or ten million so you can get sometimes very lucky drops from these as well but usually you'll get i mean about 700k to 1 million isk from one of these containers there are three of these rooms so this is now the third and final room before we've completed this whole site now this is Ephialtis over here he is a very slow ship so we can use multi-frequency the highest dps ammunition right here and just go and blast him down 
it can uh, actually we can go for this and buy a competitive cash first but just keep in mind we're using the multi-frequency the multi-frequency is the shortest range and the highest dps ammo so it will also consume the most amount of capacity just keep that in mind when you're using these two armor pairs you might want to turn one off if you've got big problems with the capacitor or switch to a ultraviolet for example that you're actually cap stable with you can just keep using everything active if you're using ultraviolet grab this 900k again there we go approach this npc he is pretty slow he is a cruiser you can tell by this icon over here it's like a little bit bigger than those npcs we fought before there were frigates so we're able to get close to him like at point blank range that's perfect for the multi-frequency over here so we might want to turn off this armor repair just to save a bit of capacitor preemptively and you can see here look this is some nice basic isk we've got right here nice basic isk uh, we can extend this inventory and if you want what you can do is if you type my character name it's called ac facey you'll find my character here with the golden suit and then scroll down and you'll see somewhere says the abyss loot filter if you click on it and then save and then save again and then exit this and then you click on these filters over here you'll see abyssal loot so this will basically be a, like an inventory filter and it can be quite useful because if you just want to see everything you got from this site it'll filter out like our ammunition so you can see here it's, this is all the loot we got from this site now here if we're not looking at our ammunition it still exists there it's just like a filter to display certain items and this will be very useful when you go back to the station later and you want to sell this if you've got a lot of stuff cluttering up your inventory then this will be good to just uh, like quickly be able to highlight all the stuff you got from Abyssal Dead Space. Okay, we'll exit this now. This is the Origin Conduit. You can tell that it's the last conduit because it says Origin Conduit. This one will take me back to space. Keep in mind, something that can happen is that people can gank you. People like to troll you in EVE Online sometimes and they can try to kill you here. And I'm talking about players. Sometimes it can happen, they like try to kill you and even though you're in high sec they can do that it's called suicide ganking the concord police will kill them but uh, they will perhaps kill you before concord is able to kill them so just keep that in mind the point is what i'm trying to make is that you just want to warp out straight away when you exit one of these abyssal dead space sites don't stay still afk like i'm doing right here you want to go back and warp to some other location straight away in this case the Amar trade post because this is where we want to dock up here so what we would have ideally wanted done here is when we exited a site just warp straight away you don't want to give any time for anyone to kill you out here it's very rare that it happens it's not that particularly common so don't worry too much about that but it can happen sometimes all right so we've warped to the emperor family academy which is the trade post the Amar trade post you can just approach this dock all right so now we go in our inventory and you can see that we've got all these items here and this is where that loot filter comes in handy click on this highlight all the loot put it in the item hanger now you've still got the loot filter selected so you can just highlight this all right click sell items and add a bit of ice isk <laughs> it's as simple as that you know we've got almost all the isk back for the value of our ship so it's really great i like this activity it's a really good activity for new players to start out in it can be a bit rough if you do some mistake like go out of the boundary box or you know you uh, may be a little bit careless when you're flying um, but it is very rewarding and this is really a nice bridge to do other activities later in EVE Online where you can earn more ISK to do other things like buying perhaps like a cruiser or some other bigger ship to do better and bigger stuff in this game. So anyway, that's how to earn some basic ISK, about 15 million to 20 million ISK an hour as a day one alpha clone. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the description below. If you did enjoy the video or learn something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.